Hello guys, G3 Toxic here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Fortnite from stuttering and possibly even crashing. But before we get into today's video, I'd just like to say, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you like my content and drop a like if I really help you out today. Guys, before we get into the video, I'd also just like to ask you, I really think that I might want to start doing more different types of content, not just tutorials, as tutorials are a little bit hard to make as you gotta find all these fixes. But the other type of content that I might do is streaming on Twitch and making more funny videos on YouTube. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so the first step you want to go into your search bar and search restore points. As you can see, it's all right here, you just click on it. Then you got to click on your drive with Windows installed. As you can see, there's a little Windows logo on there, which is my SSD, so I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to click configure. As you can see, it says current usage is 9.3 gigabytes. That's how much usage my Windows is actually using. But if you want to be safe, just put it on 5%. And as you can see, my 5% is 11 gigabytes. Just click OK and then click the create. You can just put in today's date or whatever you can remember. And so I'm just going to put in the day's date. So it is for me 21st slash online slash 2020. I'm going to click create and it will start creating restore points. But guys, if you don't already know, a restore points is something where if this video doesn't actually help you out and possibly harms your computer, like makes you have less FPS, you can just click onto this system restore points. You just click on that, it should bring up this window and then you just follow this tutorial, it'll show you right here. But guys, let's get into this next step. First thing you want to do is go into your search bar and type percent app data percent. Click on that file that pops up, then click on this app data thing right here. Then click on local, scroll down until you see Fortnite game, click on saved, config, windows client, and you should be met with the screen right here. Next you want to right click on here, then click on properties and make sure it says read only without the tick right here. Then click OK. And once you've done that, you want to right click and click open on this file right here. But don't worry, all you want to do is scroll all the way down until you see D3D RHI preference. All you want to do is make this line here that would say true on your file to false. This should fix all of your FPS stutters as they just changed it to true in the recent update. And that's probably why you have FPS stutters. But this can also fix your game crashing if you have a lot of crashes in the recent updates. Once you've done that, you can just scroll up a little bit more until you see SG. Once you see this, you just make sure that all of these SG here all at zero except for resolution quality. This will decrease the textures and quality of your game but will increase your FPS and give you an FPS boost and also stop any FPS drops and stutters. Next click on file then save then you can close out of both of these files. Okay guys so for the next step you want to go back into your search bar then just type percent temp percent this should pop up you just want to click on that and highlight all of these files you'll probably have a lot more files but i just did this video two times already just because the two recordings that i just did are corrupted and this is the third time i'm making this so it will be a little bit different but as you can see you should just highlight all of these then click delete it should have a little loading screen of where it would say deleting and then if this pops up, just click skip, because that's just your computer saying, I still need these files, so don't delete them. But all the files that it doesn't say it for that, then you can just delete it with no worries. If you don't know what temp is, temp is where all of your programs put their temporary files. Let's just say you're trying to make a thumbnail in Photoshop. It will save some of the assets in here, just in case your Photoshop crashes, and then you want to open it up back where you were. But once you finish that thumbnail, 
you don't ever use it again and it's just stored right here for no reason. So now you're just getting rid of all the stuff that is needed and saving up space on your computer and also optimizing more of your computer. You can just close out of that and we can get onto the next step. Next up, you want to hold down your Windows key and then press R. This little window should pop up. You just want to type prefetch like this right here, then click OK. As you can see, I've got all of these files here. All you want to do is select all of them. Then you want to click delete. There should be a big loading screen, but as you can see, I don't have that many. But this one still needs to be used. So you just close out of that. Then you can just close out of this and go back to your search bar for the next step and search up disk. This should pop up with disk cleanup. You just want to open that and click on your drive with your Fortnite located on. So as you can see, I've got my Fortnite on my SSD. I'm going to click on that and then click OK. Then you're going to want to make sure all of these are ticked and possibly even downloads if you want to. When I did this on my first video that was corrupted earlier, it had 15 gigabytes, and that's how much space I will gain after I delete all of this. Don't worry, this won't harm your computer, and if it does, you can always use the restore points. Just click OK and delete files. It should pop up with this little loading screen, and once this is finished, it should just automatically close. Guys, that's, that is all of the things that I wanted to show you in today's video. And I hope I helped you out. If I did, please consider subscribing to my channel and dropping a like on this video as it'll really make me happy. But guys, that's it for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.